Previously in this course, we discussed and used the a to i operational function. Probably the next most common function to have up your sleeve is the if function. With the if function, you can logically assess whether a statement is true or false, and depending upon the answer, write one of two results to a device variable. You can also nest the if function, making it even more powerful. Let's take a look at an example. The most common use of an if function I've run into is using it in cases where the incoming message sends some sort of code that means something more. In our example, with this Christie projector, they send back a three-digit number that explains what the power status of the projector would be. Looking at their documentation, they've listed out the following. If zero is returned, it means the projector is in standby. If a 1 is returned, it means the projector is powered on. If 10 is returned, it means the projector is cooling down. And if 11 is returned, it means the projector is warming up. Instead of saving this numerical code into a variable that we then have to decipher in the script, we'll instead use the if function to translate that code into a human-readable message and store it later on as a string in a device variable. This will save confusion as we are programming our WinScript file later on. Let's jump in and add our variable with the if operation included. Add your variable. In this example, I've already made one named PowerStat, so we'll choose it from the drop-down menu. Now, click the Operations box to be able to add a function. Select Insert Function. Scroll to the if function and click OK. Now, the format of our if function has been added. You can see it takes the format of if parentheses logic test comma value of true comma value of false parentheses. We need to make this a nested if statement because we're evaluating lots of different options. The projector could return a 0, 1, 10, or 11. Here's the format of the nested if statement we'll be adding. As you can see, we're evaluating the first logic test. If power stat equals zero, we want our output to be standby. If power stat is not equal to zero, it will read to the false statement, which is another nested if. Now we're asking if power stat equals one, etc., etc. That goes all the way to the end, where for the final false statement, we're going to enter the word unknown as this means that neither a 0, 1, 10, or 11 was returned by the projector. Close out the last parentheses, and this is complete. You can check your work by changing the example incoming message and seeing the result value change in real time. 